It's all over in Brooklyn, New York, and boy, did the Kings ever need that, right? I mean, the schedule has been brutal, injuries, and they needed a breather, and they got a breather tonight. They played very well, assist to turnover ratio. I'm going to start right there. 31 assists, nine turnovers. Uh, The Kings, I mean, let's just call it the way it is. They made the Nets look embarrassing. They, They really did. They look, they, they made the Nets look horrible. All right, so let's get to the big picture. Mavericks win, you're not catching them. New Orleans beats Phoenix. Now understand that New Orleans has the tiebreaker over Sacramento, and the Kings, if they were to beat Phoenix when they come home off this home st- or this road trip, they'll have the tiebreaker over the Suns because the Kings have a better winning percentage within the division. So, you know, this thing's going down to the wire, and you don't know if Shea Gilgos-Alexander is playing. He did not play tonight in the win against Charlotte. So we'll see. You know, we'll see. Uh, Is there anything I didn't really care for in this game? Not really. You know what? Not really. Uh, This will be an abbreviated post-game show. All right, because I got to catch a flight. So this will be a an abbreviated post-game show. You know the routine. You got the QR code up there. If you want to give me a call, now is the time to get on, and uh, we will do it. As always, I want to say so uh, uh, grateful for our sponsors, New Works Plumbing of Sacramento. They've got a fix for you. Locally owned for over 20 years. Just go to sacserviceplumbing.com or call the number on your screen for all of your plumbing needs and repairs. That's New Works Plumbing. They've got a fix for you. And remember, they're available around the clock. So if you have an emergency in the middle of the night, no problem, they'll be there. SacServicePlumbing.com or that number on your screen. New Works Plumbing, they've got a fix for you. Anything out there you didn't like in this game? Not for me. Let's get to NBA guru, Zach. Zach, how are you, buddy? Good, how are you, Grant? I'm good, man. It's always good to hear from you. How are you? What can we do for you? Uh, just saying it was a great game. Um, I, I, I just mainly, I think the big point of this game is that we took care of business and that Colby Jones is kind of in the rotation and he's been playing well yep. and uh, he's doing a lot of, uh, you know, he's doing, he, he's not great at anything, but he's decent at a lot of things. So he's, he's good at defense. Played 22 minutes tonight. Yep. He played great D. Uh, he's, he's got a good body, good length. Uh, he can dribble. He can play make a little bit, which is nice off the bench. And he's basically taking those Duarte, Edwards, Sasha minutes, uh, yep. which, uh, you know, the, all those guys weren't consistent enough to really uh, stay in the rotation. And uh, I like the energy he brings. He really wants it. For The key for him to stay on the floor is he's going to be open for threes. It's the same thing with Keon Ellis and everyone. If he makes those threes, then uh, he'll stay on yep. the floor. Uh, yep. But, um, yeah. Well, now you have the uncertainty – with Oklahoma City because Shea Gilgos Alexander again did not play, but he was he's back home conditioning. I'm going to give you my gut feeling. M- my gut feeling is he's not playing, and I'm I'm making that assumption, Zach, based on the fact that he is their team, and they cannot afford to have a setback. And even if it means they drop one or two spots, as long as they have home court in the first round. That's probably all they care about. You cannot jeopardize Shea Gilgus Alexander if you're the Thunder. He's got a quad injury. Uh, he, I guess, he's closer to coming back. But I, my Zach, speculation, gut feeling, he's not playing. Yeah, I think uh, I think that's a good uh, guess. Uh, I think yeah, they definitely you know there's a week left, so they want to make sure he's ready yep. for the playoffs. Um, but they're going to still be a tough team even without him to beat. So we still got to be ready and yep. uh, and take care of business, but. I, hey, Zach, I'm going to stop you for a minute because uh, I want to get your opinion on this. Okay. Here's a message from our chat line. Mike Brown leaving his starters in too long at the end of the game. I agree. I don't understand it, Zach. I don't understand why those guys are on the floor in a blowout with five minutes plus left in the fourth quarter. It makes no sense to me. It really doesn't. Uh, and I, uh, he's getting yeah. lucky because these – can you imagine if Fox or Sabonis were to get hurt in absolute yeah. garbage? Zach, why why is he doing that? I don't understand that. I, I agree. I think with because uh, there was a timeout he called, I think about the five-and-a-half-minute mark, yep. five-minute mark, yep. and, I, and yep. I thought that was going to be where the starters were going to go. 
but they stayed on. I know. I don't know if he just has uh he's just trying to, you know, make sure that we win the game because, you know, we've been losing a lot of leads in the end and stuff, which the game was over at halftime, Zach. I know. I understand. Uh maybe he's just a little bit spooked this whole season. But yeah, I mean I agree. I would have taken him out at that five and a half minute mark. That was a perfect play at that timeout. Makes um, no sense to me. It. He should have done it. Um, especially when we've been on the road or our their legs need yep. some rest and everything. We're going again another road game to OKC. Um, yeah, definitely, you know, yeah, it sucks that he played played the extra two, three minutes, but um it is what it is. But uh yeah, I hope we get that OKC win and then we got uh Four, what, three, four games left? The Suns, Pelicans, Blazers? Yeah, three games left. And here's the problem with that schedule, Zach. You get one day off after an East Coast road trip, and you play New Orleans. They may have Brandon Ingram back. They beat Phoenix tonight in Phoenix. you got to give them credit. And then oh, the yeah. very next night, you have the Suns, who are idle. While the Kings are playing the Pelicans, the Suns are in Sacramento hanging out watching the game. That is a huge disadvantage. Yeah, uh, man, the, the the Pelicans are such a tough matchup for us. I know. That well, if Ingram just, plays back, that changes everything. Yeah, I mean, even without them, the, the, the Pelicans, their two best things, they got that full-court pressure they can put on Fox. Yep. And yep. then they got uh, Jonas Valanciunas, who can kind of uh, keep up with Sabonis. Yep. Uh, so it's just going to be tough. But um, even without Ingram, they're, they've been playing pretty well, and Zion's been crazy yep. on defense and offense. And um, But I just want to see – Man, if we can get that OKC OKC win, split the Pelican Suns. Yep. Uh, most likely, the one we could get is the Suns, and then win the Blazers one. You know, three and one. Uh, am I missing a game? I feel like I'm missing one more game. Or no, you no. There's four games left. You got Oklahoma City, uh, New Orleans at home, Phoenix at home, Portland. Four games left. Yeah. So if we can go three and one somehow, that'd be great. And yeah. Then, uh, I don't. I don't. I. You know. You're right. We probably got to hope for two. We probably right. just hopefully we can get two and two. Uh, three and yep. one would be great, but definitely one and three would be horrible. And the Suns play the Clippers twice before they play Sacramento. So, you know, hey, it's going down to the wire. Zach, good hearing from you, buddy. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it, Grant. Take care. All right. Good stuff right there from Zach. And uh, good stuff from our sponsors and Bennett's three locations in the Sacramento area, Sacramento Roseville and the West Side Grill in Rockland. Just go to Bennett's Restaurants dot com make a reservation check out the menu and more prime seafood and steak at bennett's weekend brunch is awesome happy hour specials on apps the drinks everything during the week 60 different types of wine available by the glass bennett's restaurants.com from one zach to another hello zach hey uh i thought that was a pretty good game uh, i mean obviously it's brooklyn so you don't expect them to do much um what I really liked from that game was Keegan Murray. I thought he was pretty solid. Um, he kind yep. of showed off repertoire a little bit. Um, based off that performance, I mean, I, I I think Murray does have the tools to be like a star in this league. I don't know about perennial all star, but I think he could get you know to that level. You know, but um, I just hope that you know games like this he can kind of just build off because it seems like whenever he has a big game, like the game when he scored forty five. You know, he doesn't, like, back it up with, you know, following per performances. So, I would hope maybe if it's not later this season in the playoffs, next season we can start to see that. Yeah, he didn't shoot the ball well from three tonight. I mean, he took ten. That's too many. I don't want him taking ten three-pointers when he's not shooting the ball well. He was three of ten from downtown tonight. I don't like that. No, I agree, I agree with that. I mean, I'm saying, like, I, there was just some moves, like, when he was, like, getting the mid-range or to the basket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Um, as far as the remaining schedule, uh. I only see two more wins, Max. Do you? What do you think? Well, to me, first of all, it depends on the health of the teams. If Shea Gilgos Alexander plays, I think Oklahoma City wins. If he doesn't play, I think the Kings win. And if Brandon Ingram is not back in the lineup for New Orleans, then I think that is a, a slight advantage to Sacramento. And I, but the game that I think they're going to have the big problem winning is the Phoenix game. Three games and four nights, a back to back. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like I don't like that uh, that setup. I think they're going to have a very difficult time beating Phoenix. Portland obviously has to be. I mean, I think we all know this, Zach. It's got to be a must win. Yeah, I agree. And then and so in the last two three games, it seems like Brown played uh, Edwards a lot, and Chris Duarte kind of like split in with Sasha. So now in this game, Colby played like a majority yep. of those minutes. Twenty two so, minutes. 
was that like just kind of like an experiment like with this bad team or do you did you ex- what do you expect for the remaining games and should they make the playoffs um I, I you're gonna he's gonna have an eight man rotation in the playoffs. Those guys to me, you cannot count if you're in the playoffs. I, I think he's gonna go with a very short bench. If the Kings make the playoffs, you got to rest between games. I don't think any of those guys are playing, to be honest with you. So other than the five starters, who off the bench you see? Mitchell's definitely gonna be playing. I, I think we can Lyles is definitely gonna be playing. I mean, th- th- those are givens. Those those seven right there are the guys that are going to get your your the the very the vast majority of the minutes. Lyles is going to have to play a lot. Mitchell's going to have to play a lot. Um the 7 minutes and then you'll have maybe one or two more that play between 4 minutes and 8 minutes depending on how they're playing. That's how I see it. Gotcha. Thanks for your time. Hey, thank you. Really appreciate that. It's a very good question about, you know, what happens if they make the playoffs and how that's all going to work because, you know, uh to me you're you're going to have a very, very short rotation with all the injuries. You, you just are. You're going to have it. All right. So we talk about Gold Country Veterinarian Hospital. Full service, right? They do amazing things. All right. Here are some of the unique and interesting cases in the last couple of days. They diagnosed and treated a dog with pancreatitis. They did a C-section on an Australian shepherd with 13 puppies. They removed a cartilage defect from the shoulder of a dog. They removed bladder stones from a cat. They treated a dog for heartworm disease. See, they do it all. And here's the bottom line. When your pet needs to be seen, Gold Country Veterinarian Hospital is available. Again, in Auburn, serving the foothills, Roseville, Sacramento, that's Gold Country Veterinarian Hospital. Kings roll, destroy, absolutely destroy the Nets. And we go overseas to Belgrade, Serbia. Hello, Baki. Hello, Grant. What's up, buddy? How are you, buddy? Uh, great. Just counting those games, even if we, we <clears throat> win the, the next one, uh, it's very painful that uh, I think we're going to be short for only one game, maybe. Because uh, that tiebreaker against New Orleans Pelicans, I think um, you need you need Pelicans to lose the game. Okay, we, we're not going to talk about anything about this game we, we won in Brooklyn. It's it's normal one, but uh, okay, we can concentrate on the deck. Even we we win the next game. I don't know. We need to be very lucky uh, winning. Zach to, uh, said that three one will be great. Well, it will be great, but I don't think it's enough. I don't know. What do you think? Well, they're not going four zero. I don't think. I, I don't see how they're going to win both against New Orleans and Phoenix. They may win one of those games, but I, I th- I'm looking at the Phoenix game similarly to the way I looked at the first Dallas game a few weeks ago. It's a brutal schedule. Three and four with the travel after being on the East Coast. Even though I'm well aware that Oklahoma City is in the Central Time Zone, but it's it's very, uh, in my opinion. It's, I don't want to say it's unfair because all teams do it, but it's not ideal to be playing what probably will be the biggest game of the year against the Phoenix Suns when if, you played the night before in their game. idol, you know? If 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 we somehow manage to, to win against Oklahoma and against New Orleans, then yep. it's be, it will be mad in, in Golden 1. Yeah, but we've seen that before and it doesn't mean anything. I mean, it was madness. Okay. It was madness for the Dallas games, and they they lost both games. And the first game was on TNT, and the place was jumping off the hook, and the Kings got steamrolled. So I, I don't really, I, I I'm not. I'll tell you the reason why I say that, Baki. Do you think Kevin Durant or Devin Booker, Beal? Do you think those guys really are going to be bothered by anything to do with an away crowd? They're not. It's a non-factor. No, no I, right. I'm not. It's nothing about the crowd for for the yeah for the the others, but. Okay, at least we're gonna we're gonna have a game which will decide the number six. Well, mate, I, 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 well, can can I just can we table this? Can we get to there first? We got two games left. Yeah, yeah. That. Let's not even talk about the Phoenix game. Let's talk about Oklahoma City. If Shea Gilgos Alexander does not play, Baki, the Kings should win that game. Yeah, we should. You're right. We should we should think about if not getting number six. Never mind. Let's let's grab that number seven at least. 
or number eight. Yeah, because the Lakers are playing Minnesota. LeBron James is out tonight with uh, the flu. So the Lakers, in all likelihood, will lose tonight, and that will put them behind. Well, they're they're behind Sacramento anyway because of the tiebreaker. Uh, if the Lakers do lose, they're probably not going to finish ahead of Sacramento. So, you know, yeah. all of these games are so very important. Yeah, but the only thing I look – at is uh, that New Orleans uh, schedule if we have yep. some kind of hope some kind yep. of hope but they play Portland and then they play three very difficult games yes. against us and against Lakers and against uh one well where we get, he, where he, we he, it's going it, it's all coming down to the wire Paki I have to run because I got a uh yeah, I'm going to do a quick show but I appreciate nice, you I appreciate nice you time. and uh, thank you very much bye bye Good stuff right there. Hey, uh, I want to tell you uh, about Fosters and Paws. They are looking for donors, adopters. They're looking for fosters. They have puppies available right now. They are a group of passionate animal advocates, and they work primarily with dogs from shelters. Uh, they also really do a great job with young people, teach them the lifelong benefit of having a pet. But right now, Puppies available. So go to fostersandpaws.org slash adopt. That's fostersandpaws.org slash adopt. They are awesome what they do. And again, get yourself a puppy. All right. Let's get to Segway King. Go right ahead. You're on with Grant. Hey, Grant. Just a quick set, uh, segue. So yes. even though the Phoenix Suns are not playing tomorrow, don't play with the sun tomorrow, Grant. There's going to be an eclipse. Do not look directly at the sun. It will net you blindness. And speaking of blindness and nets, what happened to the Brooklyn Nets? I know this is a King show, but at one point in time, they had Durant, Kyrie, and Harden. They got and a horrible general manager. That's why. They got a horrible general manager and Bobby Marks. The guy's terrible. I don't know how he still has a job. Uh, that's what happened to the Nets. They haven't made a good move in, in 10 years. Yeah, I remember the uh, KG and Paul Pierce. They were both ready for the glue factory. I mean, it's been about 15 years of bad management. But um, just a quick question. Uh, who do you think the best matchup is for the Kings in the first round? I know we don't want to look ahead with seeding and whatnot, but who do you think we match up with the best? Probably Oklahoma City. Uh, their playoff yeah. experience. Uh, you know, I, I personally feel that the Kings would be lucky to win more than one game against Denver. Minnesota, uh I give Minnesota a slight edge, but not more than a slight edge. I think Oklahoma City would be a toss-up series. Yeah, I think last year, even though uh, Steph dropped the 50-piece on us in Game 7, I think the experience from last season will translate to this playoffs. Because when you look at all the teams right now, you have a young Minnesota team, a uh, young OKC team. Yep. So they're going to be inexperienced. They're not going to. Yep. We're not sure if they're going to be able to stack up to how they are in the regular season. So, so a lot of truth to um, that. Yeah. Yeah, and it's true. I mean, um, sometimes you just kind of be a deer in the headlights, especially when yep. your best player is 24 years old. But, yep. uh, yeah, thanks for taking my call, Grant. Go Kings. Thank you. Don't look at the sun, okay? All right? You know, I'm glad you gave us that tip not to look at the sun. I didn't know that. But thank you. You know I'm just busting your chops, right? It's all good. It is all good. Tell you what else is good, and that is Sunrise Landing in Calusa. And if you go to Calusa sunrise.com you can check out all of these beautiful models from blazona development six models to choose from no melaroos no homeowners great access to i5 highway 20 it's a beautiful area in calusa and again just go and check out uh, those beautiful models at sunrise landing from blazona development go to calusa sunrise.com that is calusa sunrise.com and blazona development all right I hate to do this, but I got to roll. Uh, I don't want to miss my flight. So don't forget Kings, Thunder. That is going to be a biggie. All right. And well, I should say they're all biggie. I don't want to be redundant, but I'll tell you, there was a Kings needed this tonight. They needed this. This was a breather. They kicked the tails of the Nets. It's all good. So now it is time to move on. Only four games left. Can you believe that? Four games left. Appreciate you all. Thank you very much. We will talk to you in a very short period of time as the Kings move on to complete this road trip. And, you know, despite what happened in New York and Boston, if they beat Oklahoma City, it's a good road trip. 
Got to look at it that way. Good road trip. So long, everybody. Pre